This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, live from New York. By now, two generations have grown up in a world with Saturday Night Live. While many know the name of its creator and still producer, Lorne Michaels, few know the real story of how this iconic late night show, assembled by a band of not ready for primetime players, came to be. As Saturday night shows, it wasn't easy, and few were as shocked by the success of the show as those who greenlit it in the first place. Indeed, even those who know the reality are likely to ask, okay, how are they going to pull this off in 90 minutes? Told mostly in real time, director Jason Reitman throws the audience right into the action on that night in October 1975 when the show debuted. Mirroring the chaos of the time, the movie doesn't bother much with introductions. All the recognizable players are on screen soon enough, including Michaels, played by Gabriel LaBelle in the lead, as well as Chevy Chase and John Belushi. Michaels is nervous with good reason. He took it seriously, but the suits at NBC didn't. It was a political ploy to deal with with late night king Johnny Carson. Michaels is willing to give it a shot though. His plucky can do attitude ultimately takes center stage with Reitman only giving a passing nod to the more problematic parts of the early shows, including sexism and the treatment endured by SNL's only original black cast member Garrett Morris, played to a T here by Lamorne Morris. Rounding out the cast of the movie is J.K. Simmons in a small but pivotal role as the iconic Milton Berle. Saturday Night is a tame look at a show that was anything but. It's not groundbreaking, but it's got some laughs and is must-see to borrow an NBC line for fans of the show. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.